Welcome back to our follow-up video where we answer questions about some of the crabs that live here at the Meadowlands Environment Center Salt Marsh Habitat. My name is Miss Corinne and I am Miss Vicky. We would like to say special thank you to Miss Jost and her sixth grade students at Memorial Middle School in Little Ferry. Let's answer some of the questions we received. How big do crabs grow? Fiddler crabs can grow up to two inches when measured across their carapace. Mud crabs can grow up to one inch across. While most of the blue crabs found in our salt marsh are smaller, male blue crabs can grow up to seven to eight inches across, while females tend to be slightly smaller. What is a crab's lifespan? Mud crabs and fiddler crabs can live up to two years, while blue crabs can live up to three years. How do crabs grow? Crabs go through a process called molting. This is when they separate from their shell because it became too small for them or they damaged or lost a claw or leg. At this point, their soft bodies are exposed and they will hide to protect themselves until they grow a new hard shell, also known as an exoskeleton. They go through this process multiple times throughout their lives as they grow and we can find different sized exoskeletons along our shores. What are crabs predators? Crabs are most vulnerable to predators after they have molted. Some predators in our salt marsh that feed on crabs are diamondback terrapins and birds like the great blue heron. What do crabs eat? Fiddler crabs and mud crabs are scavengers that feed on decaying animal and plant material. Small worms, bacteria, and fungi that they find in salt marsh mud and sediment. Blue crabs are omnivores. They feed on clams, oysters, mussels, smaller crustaceans, freshly dead fish, and plant and animal detritus. Can you eat blue crabs? Their scientific name is Calinectus sapidus, which in Greek means savory, beautiful swimmers. They are heavily harvested around the world for their sweet and delicate meat, so you can eat them. But we would like to remind you that everything at the Meadowlands Environment Center is catch and release. How many eggs do female blue crabs produce? During mating, the female sheds her exoskeleton and is in a soft shell phase. The orange external egg mass underneath her apron may contain anywhere between 750,000 to 8 million eggs, depending on her size. Spawning occurs between May and September. Other crabs go through a similar process. You can observe a grabbed mud crab we caught in our salt marsh. The dark mass is the fertilized eggs. Where did the fiddler crab get its name? How do you tell the difference between a female and a male? If you look closely at the male and female fiddler crabs, you will notice a distinct difference. Males tend to be brighter colored than females. Females have two equally sized claws, whereas males have one large claw that can be up to two inches longer. Fiddler crabs get their name from the motion that males make during mating, which resembles playing a fiddle. Why does it look like fiddler crabs have antenna? Those are their eyes. The eyes are located at the end of the two long and slender movable eye stalks. Can fiddler crabs regrow their claws? Fiddler crabs can regenerate limbs. If a male loses its big claw, the small claw will grow to become the bigger claw. The newly grown claw will become the feeding claw. Did you know that fiddler crabs can be right-handed or left-handed just like people? How deep are fiddler crabs burrows? Fiddler crabs burrows are intricate and go about two feet deep. They use their burrows to hide from predators and hibernate during the winter. They are very active during the day and return to their burrows at night during high tide, plugging the entrance with mud or sand. How did mud crabs get their name? Mud crabs got their name from the dark brown color of their shells that resembles the dark brown mud they can most commonly be found living in. Where can mud crabs be found in the salt marsh? At low tide, mud crabs are usually found under rocks along the shoreline. At high tide, mud crabs can be found at the bottom of the water in the mud.
Did you know that some species of mud crabs help to protect wetland vegetation by feeding on snails, keeping their populations in check? I hope you enjoyed our video and learned a little bit more about the crabs living here at the Meadowlands Environment Center. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, farewell.